What is going on you guys? It is your boy OMZ here. We are back. My god, one hell of a Kaiju number 8 episode that happened last time. It was an insane episode from start to finish with the beginning of the episode being the end of the exam where Kikaru just went ham on literally any Kaiju in sight. It was a very, very good showing for her until whatever the hell this thing is came out of nowhere and started lighting up Kikaru and thank god for the very advanced suit because she would have been easily dead she had to snap her own arm back into place she could barely walk she got launched into a building by the freaking kaiju it was so intense and it was very very intention building that i didn't even know what was going to happen with this character i thought they were going to kill her off easily just easily kill her off but thankfully for kafka being there in order to save her with his kaiju form easily once again being able to defeat that kaiju with one punch i don't think once again necessarily that that one punch is going to be able to defeat whatever the hell this thing is that was able to regenerate like basically almost kind of give the regenerating power to the rest of the kaiju that were in the exam once again we still know little about any of this right here we did see at the end though that this person slash like kaiju the exact same thing that kafka is right now or what happened to kafka happened to this person and he is now with the cleaning crew inside of that so i really wonder a lot with his motive i did give my prediction on what i thought his motive was i was thinking maybe he's going to try to maybe take the kaiju power away from kafka but i was wondering maybe it's not even only with kafka maybe it has to deal with the actual division itself maybe whatever motive that this dude or even like maybe it's like a conjoined type of relationship where maybe they both want the same thing possibly but maybe they have something out for the division and they want to take the division out they want to completely eradicate all the different divisions just starting off maybe with division three maybe being the strongest we don't know any of the other divisions but i wonder if it is solely based on the division in order to eradicate that whole thing that's why at least what i'm also wondering as well but i could talk forever about what his possible motive is but we're gonna see what else is gonna happen in this episode we do know that we had a lot of backstory and a lot of character development with kikaru kikaru honestly kind of being one of my favorites in this show and i'm very excited to see more of the character what else she's honestly gonna do how is she gonna recover from all this and she is the only one that knows kafka is a kaiju i wonder if anybody else is going to eventually know or if she is maybe going to spill the beans on any of that i have no idea i don't think she might be the person for that considering kafka saved her life but we're just gonna have to wait and see but with that being said let's get straight the hell into this episode if you guys are new to the channel you guys like my reaction like subscribe comment down below and if you guys when you're notified i'll release those videos make sure to smash that notification bell without further ado let's get right into the episode Last time on Kaiju number 8, this girl almost died. Unbelievable. Once again, every time that they do his Kaiju form, it looks incredible. I do hate for the dimming, but still, there's a lot of electricity going on. Thanks, man. Thank you. Still, he wants to talk to Mina, though. Oh, is he waiting? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> He's waiting for the results. <laughs> and now you put me in the situation where it could be good or bad. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, uh, here we go. What's he gonna say? What's it gonna be? We open it on three. They ain't gonna open it on three. <laughs> it is. I feel like he barely made it. I know he's gonna be able to join. I know it. He did it. He did it? He did it. <laughs> I'm just kind of expecting he did it. He's about to walk through them doors. I already know it. Don't see Kikaru in this room, though. Nice. Uh, he wanted him to pass. Kikaru, there she is. She's looking good. Yeah, wouldn't why wouldn't she be here? Thank God she's even still walking. 
おっさんはダメだったのか先輩は He's on his way. 足を見な隊長、oh? 入場 Alright, I get... All right, then. I mean, we'll probably get something. Who knows? <laughs> I still think he made it, though. I can't wait till we see more of Mina in action. Even freaking Hoshino, too. Nice. Lay down our lives for the cause. You were the one that took out literally all the other kaijus. But I. It wasn't me who defeated them.、Mm. She's talking about at least that. Mmm. That's just that, like, kind of fatherly instinct, a little bit. Just at least him looking out for the young ones, though. Oh, hey, he's here! <laughs> yeah, he's here! Lois on the fitness exam. Yeah. So, how'd they come up with this, though? Really? Hmm. Oh, he noticed what he was doing. He noticed what he was trying to do, what Kafka was literally doing to, like, during the exam. Okay. The dude was funny. Yeah, he, he was cracking up throughout the entire freaking exam. Hmm. He barely made it. Barely made it, but he's here. Thankfully, you all survived. And afraid to say that. That's exactly why. <laughs> This feels like an Erwin moment a little bit. It's been a minute since I've heard one of these speeches.、Mm. Wow. Okay, he just said that loud as shit. <laughs> as loud as hell. Oh, yeah! Okay. Uh oh. Oh, no! 100 push off! <laughs> That came out. <laughs> wow. St I like how they're keeping that a little hidden, though. I do like that. Hopefully, when eventually we're going to get more about that, I like how they're hiding it. Oh, he noticed. Oh. Okay, so he does have his eye on him. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> you better finish. Oh, come on. Couldn't even finish the last one, but goddamn. Oh, boy, already. Oh my god, so we're gonna get the talk now. Not necessarily like it was him on purpose. Yeah, he didn't mean to. Oh, <laughs>、uh, they will kill you. <laughs> Being tested and doing experiments, either kill or experiment. Either one. Doesn't sound fun. 
特別な兵器のパーツとして使われるらしい、mm, That sounds brutal! That sounds brutal! <laughs> For, for my sake. <laughs> God. Exactly. She isn't going to spurt out. Nothing like that. Huh? Oh. Duh. <laughs> If that happens, I'm counting on you. Wow. Oh, a little bit of combat training. Oh. First day as soldiers. It is simple combat training. Okay. Mm. Zed! Wow. Never mind, I thought they were all on the field trying to catch, like, I thought that was maybe Kikuru up in the building just sniping and shit. No, but they're doing... Okay. Okay, okay, they're doing these one by one. Mm. Are you gonna compare? Nice. Nice, quick and easy. Okay, okay. <laughs> I definitely think this dude's gonna be one of the cocky ones out of the bunch. And is that Kikuru? <laughs> oh, what do you uh, what do you expect? What do you expect? Oh my God, fifty-five. <laughs> You need whatever kind of training she has got. Then again, she's been training probably since she was what? Eight, ten? However much. Mm. I like the. Six minutes? He is out of breath! <laughs> Oh my god. The vibe is very, very unique now with everybody now here. And even just with the protagonist. Even with the protagonist being in his almost mid 30s. <laughs> you'll be fired in three months or dead. <laughs> 10 laps, get it lapping. <laughs> That is also what I was going to say. There's a lot of competitive nature within the bunch. And we hit the saunas now. We hit the bathhouses. <laughs> That's kind of fact, so. <laughs> Oh, he was inhaling that shit. <laughs> oh my god. I do love that the vibe that he brings, just anywhere that he goes, it's nice. I'll challenge you to arm wrestling. That's a good, that's a good kind of challenge. Shit! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> they were just talking a little bit ago. You guys, you guys can't say anything now. Just chill, relax, and let alone be here. He never thought he would be here. Oh, Mina. Mm. <laughs> Just even the sight of her startled them. <laughs> then again, they weren't expecting her to be here. Mm. A little bit of team camaraderie, a little bit here. Of course. Of course. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. A lot of them. A lot of them have something to do with Mina. 
K のアミナの影響力俺たち世代のスーパーヒーローっすからねでおっさんは<笑> Oh dude Uh, is he going to talk about the past relationship and friendship? <laughs> Childhood friend? Yeah. <laughs> now look how that ended all the way to now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he just had to say that, but then again, that was the only thing that he was going to say. <laughs> oh man. Yo, oh, 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 Very cool. Finally, within four episodes, we're finally getting to see at least, like, within four to five, getting to see how the inside of this really works. <laughs> They're trying to strategize. Damn. My God. I'm trying to pay attention, but the score is freaking nice. Damn, they really... Hey, Production IG, you're doing great with the animation. Score-wise, my god, it's great. It's... I wonder how long it's probably been so far, at least with the, like, with the montage. I really wonder, at least within this amount of time, if Kafka's making any kind of improvement as well. I don't really kind of think, or even combat power. Oh, he's gone. Hmm, doing some study. Late as hell. Hoshina. Oh, I saw his freaking silhouette. Yeah. Mm, true, but have that spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Interpret maybe a little bit. <laughs> ティキ。上等や。うん。2時間だけや。Mm. Emergency? Oh, Kaiju. The Everybody wake the hell up! <laughs> uh, or, I don't think training out. It'd be pretty kind of early. See what I just said? First mission time, and damn, we're not gonna see it because it's about to be the end of the episode. Oh, man. Maybe first mission? First mode he's gonna go into? We're gonna have to find out, man. Solid episode, let's get right into it. So in this episode, we got no exposition with the antagonist, so to say, that we got introduced to in the last episode. Nothing with that. This whole episode is basically the first couple days of everybody being here and finally being appointed as officers. So we had the whole ceremony and everything. Kafka barely made it past. We did get to see how that was able to happen. Still, even with Mina, we really don't know anything much on how she is feeling. And even maybe even with Hoshina too, because Hoshina is now watching Kafka. He suspects Kafka in some way because of his vitals going completely off when that explosion occurred back in the exam. So we're gonna see how that's gonna go. But now this episode, 
episode was solid and can't really kind of say anything else. We did get to experience everybody else that are now officers in here. We did get a little bit introduced for when they were still doing the first couple exams into here, but we really didn't kind of get to see them interacting with each other. The vibe and the aura that Kafka, him being like almost in his mid thirties and just with him being surrounded by young adults, it's just a really good feeling because you can honestly even just offer a little bit maybe of advice to them for other different things other than like fighting and anything kind of else and it was just so funny that anytime that he was mentioning Mina he was like wait you guys are childhood friends and then they would eventually tell more of the story with that it's just a really good vibe with everybody and we got to see a little bit of the montage with that Kikaru still one of my favorite characters at least in here and I just the one reason why I love the character is that drive and tenacity to be the best and do as much as she can and just still she will lay it all on the line in order to get anything done that's why she looked at Kafka straight in the face being like hey if you were to do any harm or try to do any harm to mankind I will kill you I will slit your freaking head off of your body so I love I just love that declaration towards Kafka and even Kafka looking back being like like, I wouldn't expect anything less of you. Like, I'm counting on you to do that. So, I think at least with everything involving Kafka, like him and Ichikawa, him and Kikaru, like, they're kind of back and forth between each other. It's just, it's great. Like, I really, really love that. And I just only wonder what else is going to happen. Mina, we still have yet to see a little bit more with that. They are keeping that a little bit hidden, which I think is good. Keep kind of exploring that just a tiny little bit. And with Hoshina, he's keeping his eye on Kafka. Even in the end, telling Kafka, hey, don't get too close to your comrades because you never know when they will be gone. So maybe he's kind of saying that, oh, it's like a waste of time to be like really, really invested with any of these guys. I disagree with that because that is kind of one of the biggest things, especially if you are here, you had to build that camaraderie because that not even only makes for a stronger team but that builds better bonds whether they eventually go quick in a flash or they're eventually going to be alive for however long just the fact of the matter is building those relationships and that bond is what keeps this division or a division strong that is my personal opinion let me know what you guys think of that and of course this episode i just think that's a really really good thing to at least have and just build bonds between all the other different characters that's what you got to do guys this was a really solid episode cannot wait to see what what else is going to happen in the next episode thank you guys for watching my reaction if you guys are excited for the rest of kaiju number eight and you guys like the channel like subscribe comment down below and as always my name is omsi and i am out